so yeah if you can bring it over and i'm thinking dumping it right here trying to keep it on the on the gravel awesome thanks i'm just about to uh dig out all the sod here for the new driveway and all the sod on the inside of the pole barn that way i can start spreading the stone so it's 20 ton of minus ones and this is primarily going to be going inside the pole barn to level it off to get it up to grade before we do the concrete so coming that's good All set? All right, I appreciate it. Take care. So now we got the stone delivered, we can go ahead and start scraping off the sod. So pretty much gonna start inside the pole barn, I think. I think I'm gonna start right outside the door here. We'll start right here and start stripping off all the sod. We're definitely gonna have to dig out more from the front area than the back area. As you can see by this baseboard here, you can see just how much it slopes up at the end here because my entire house here is on a hill that goes down. So I'm gonna have to build this area up much more and take more away from this area. As I work my way back this way, I will not only be taking the sod, but some dirt along with it to get down to some good sandy loom make this nice and level before i put the stone down so that is what i'm working on today stripping all this uh, i'm not sure if we're going to get to doing the stone in this video but if not you guys will see me in the next video doing the stone getting that all spread through and i plan on using a compactor to pack the stone real nice and tight before we do the concrete so that is what we're going to be doing today so let's just jump on the tractor here and we'll get at it
All right guys, so I've got the entire inside here dug out. As you can see, we got it dug out real nicely. I graded it out with the rake afterwards and I uh, got it nice and level. So it's about as good as it's gotta get. And now we're gonna do is spray it down with the hose because this stuff is so dry. I've got a lot of sandy loom here, which does make a decent base material, but it gets very dusty. So what I wanna do is tamper it, but if I leave it dry, it's gonna be a real big dust cloud. It's probably all gonna go in my house and I'll be covered in it. So we're gonna wet this down with the hose, just get it damp, and then I'm gonna go over it with the tamper, tamper this really good, get this dirt nice and hard packed. And then from there, I'm gonna grab my Kubota and we'll start hauling over the minus one crusher runs over to here and we'll start filling it in.
All right, guys, well, it's been a pretty eventful day. We got all the sod dug out from the inside of the pole barn here. Got it all cleaned up. I got it graded as much as I could. I cleaned up all the edges with the shovel and I tampered it to get the dirt nice and tight. And after I got done with that, we started spreading the 20 ton of stone that was over there. And I spread about 10 ton first, got a nice little layer down here and tampered it really, really good. And then after that, we went and tackled the other 10 ton that was left over, spread that on here, and I tampered that really good. So that brought us up quite a bit. We've got this nice and level now. We do got to come up some more still, but we don't have to come up a whole lot more. So I'll probably have to get like maybe another 10 ton um, just because of the way the grade is here. Since I live on a hill, we were just really low over here. So we need quite a bit of fill, but we're getting there now. And uh, pretty soon I'll get with my concrete guy and we will top this off and do a final rake, get the drain set and get this floor pitched for the drains. And we should be in good shape. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be doing the trusses. So we'll be getting those put on. We've got all the trusses over here. That's what we're gonna be working on tomorrow. Getting all the trusses up, getting all the purlins put up top and all the girts on the sides here. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow, we'll have all the side straps on, the trusses on and all the purlins on as well and maybe we could even get a start on the roof because once that stuff's done the rest will be pretty easy as all we got to do is put in the siding finish the concrete and uh yeah we should be looking pretty good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna get in the house get cleaned up got to come back out here tomorrow morning it'll be another all day thing getting all of the uh trusses put on so hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to comment like subscribe as always we'll see you guys in the next one